Mm. That's good. So after that nice rainstorm last night and the roof leaking, I'm going to rip out upstairs. I'll take all this panelling off. Maybe replace that top beam there because it seems to be holding these trusses a little bit. But I'll take that wall out. Um, take this wall out. Well, depending on what is holding the roof up. That's where that mega leak was last night with the torch footage. Rip this room out. I already started a little bit. Rip this room out. And then we'll see where we're at. Big area. I think I'm gonna have to chuck all this out of this window. Handy. Very handy. Right, so that's that wall completely out. And a little bit on the door. And all the skirtings and whatnot, window frame. All that out. And that from the last video, you know that white pipe? It's in there, encased in wood. Pretty smart. Hmm. So I got the middle section out, it's all tongue and groove, which is fun to take off. All the walls are stuffed with this old sawdust insulation as well, which is actually good because we use it. We've got loads out of the barn and we use it for um, the compost toilet. So I'll save all that and use it, reuse it. And there's a little cat had to come and see what I was working on. So there's going to be a lot of sawdust coming out of these walls. That's just that one little section there. All those sections. That wall's full of it. And this wall's full of it. It's just useful stuff. Wow, so that one little section that's not even totally clear. There's five bags. Gonna need a lot of bags. Right, now we're starting to get somewhere. You can see through the wall. Wow. It seems so much better when it's all open. And then I can do the proper repairs to all the leaking stuff that's hidden up there. That's where the main leak is. In this section, and there's a big bit that runs down the chimney on that pipe but I just can't get to it properly without removing all this these false walls so that one's still to come out all the rest of this all that all that still a lot that's all good so you can see all the water damage on the inside of this bit of wall it's going to be interesting when we get to this bit Check out this stud, <laughs> the skinniest, hilarious, a little more open, I might as well just take out the rest of this wall before I start inspecting that bad boy. So the wall's not even completely out, look how many bags I've got already, amazing. Ugh. Choking on sawdust. Oh, piles and piles of it. 14 bags so far. Oh, we're looking at easy 50 bags out of this whole shenanigans. The pile of wood as well is going to get insane.
Right, that's the wall out. Be faster if it wasn't tongue and groove on both sides and clearing up all this sawdust in between. Just need to get that little top bit out, but it's trapped behind the ceiling at the moment, which is also tongue and groove. And same with the on the bottom of the floor there, there's a board that's embedded with the floor, so I might leave that for a while. Clear it all up and we'll take a look. So I stuck the crowbar just through it. No, it was nothing. Knife through butter style. It looks like I'm going to have to replace this beam. It's not looking good, but that's okay. I'll just have to um, butcher a tree or something, unfortunately. So, yeah, look how black that is. Ruined. Ruined. And that's our spot there. I don't know if you can see the light coming through or not on camera, but that's where our two holes are, where the two black bits are between. Good job I got on this. So that's one of the danger pipes exposed. Water leaks down that as well, but I'm not surprised. I'm making see loads of gaps in it, and it's pretty rough to loose but I'll take it out last so it's easier for me to block the hole it's good that it was encased in wood super safe 23 bags start ripping out this wall there'll be another 23 bags in that so the battery died so I had to wait for the sun to come out to get some power but it's out again so we're back in business uh, while you've been gone, a few more bags. Look, I think it's about forty. Uh, took all the blue off, removed these, and removed this wall. So we've just got this little section to do, this lovely green, and that back bit, and then we can start looking at the ceiling. The pile's getting pretty large, it'll be fun to clear up. I have 43 bags and I've run out. Hey. So I'm just going to have to sweep it all into a one corner, I guess, until I can get something. So there's another wall out. It is roasting up here. Oh, so much lighter now, which is nice. Just this screen abomination to come out. Which will be awkward because the, the angle it's on. We'll see. Go outside to breathe for a minute first. Yeah, it's quite a lot. Um, I'll try and reuse some of it, clean it up and whatnot, but the majority of it's ruined, destroyed. It's a fair whack, isn't it, already? It's warm up here, so I'm taking this wall out first because it's all trapped behind it, so it's making it difficult. So I've had to move onto this one, and then I got carried away and started working over there because I wanted to be near the window because I'm boiling. I've also evacuated about 10 wasps, 5 bees, so they're all getting in somewhere. Oh. 
using that as the oar hand. Nineteen thirty-four. Right, just clear up the floor, and I can get that little bottom section out there, and then that's that wall stripped, and then just gotta get to this green room that I keep putting off. So I was able to put my hand through the roof because all the shingles are rotten. Uh, luckily I had this piece of plastic so I stapled that up for now. Temporary, just to stop it all flooding in. And I'll have to consider what we're going to do with the roof in the bigger picture, longer term. Right, I need to have a look at this where I'm going to put all these bags this is a shame there's so many mozzies and horse flies and deer fly because it's just been raining for days and days yeah right I don't know if you can see them all flying out of the door already the camera's probably not picking them up you can probably hear them on the camera so this is the abomination that I've got to deal with I'll move all that to there and I'll have this big open space here and I can put the 50 odd bags of sawdust in here. Right, let's try again. I'm trying to film the big clouds of them but they're too, they're too tiny, you can't really see them. Check these out. Eat Scottish chairs, them. I'll get 50 bags in there, won't I? Easy, yeah. I saw that all properly when it's sunny outside because I want to drag it all out to what it actually is rather than just stacking it further and further into the darkness. Right, 100 runs back and forth to get these 50 bags in then let's do it also sent a letter to the landowner of this just to see if you'll give a ballpark pig figure bigger figure on how much it would be or if you'd do like a rent to buy situation but just to find out not that we're really in a position to do either but be good to know because then you could just farm it and make enough money to make a profit, live off. The veg is all coming along nicely. All the Asian veg seems to do really well here. Salad. The quick looks good anyway because it gives me a break from carrying those bags of sawdust. Beetroot finally starting to come through. Linseed, when some animal keeps lying in it, look. But whatever. It's coming along. Squash. Starting to grow quite a bit. The early potatoes. Not bad. That old green manure in the corner again, look. These bad boys are really picked up. Can't afford the soil to wet half them up again yet, though. But they need it. Then what else have we got? Peas. Which are picking up. Turnips finally coming through. More peas that are not doing as good, but they'll get there. Some more little squash. Kale. Uh, what's in this one? Cabbages. Um, some more seedlings that are just in protection zone at the moment uh, but they do need to go out pretty pronto 
edible flowers not really coming through that much at the minute these peas and beans i've been training them on to you know wrap around so they're starting to do that which is nice uh, and then these potatoes which also again need they need earthed up again but it's just gonna have to wait because i ain't got any soil so. and a few things that have bolted so they're just out because they're probably just gonna be left to seed and i'll put them out somewhere wild some of the things in protection garlic no, no show the onions a uh, mix of random stuff that's starting to show leeks that need to go in a bed soon uh, all the stuff for the little herb spiral that needs to be planted out but again need soil uh, and that's it so i better get back to the old sawdust mania well that's 20. <sighs> never ending falling down the stairs twice <laughs> well this is working a tree skin so soft it's from a british company it's like a little catalog company avon if you're british you'll know for sure what it is or where it's from at least but mosquito repellent at a quarter of the price and it's not like deet and all a jungle formula sort of stuff that really bad for you ah right let's do the next day done Sweaty as hell after that, like. Ooh. Muggy. I can hear them squirrels in that tree as well. Hey, hey bud. Hey. <laughs> oh, looks like I'm going to have to go to the library today to get this video edited and uploaded. Keep just looking at that and thinking, ah, oh, it's gonna be a nightmare to clear up. We buried some ladders underneath it as well, which was great thinking. Find a lot of these paper wasp nests as well. We've evacuated a few wasps out of here. Paper wasps and uh, solitary wasps. You can see there's loads of solitary wasp hives up here. Look. See them. There's one closer. But yeah, there's loads all over the roof. There was a few down here as well, but I destroyed them. So, sorry guys, but you can't live up here anymore. Do you know what I think we need? Some more sawdust. Yeah. Bit more, eh? Lovely. Interesting way to fit a window. It's pretty much just floating. Plugged in the wall, obviously, and then sort of held there. Sort of sat in that at the bottom. Wow, top notch. You can see where there's been. You can see where there's been a few leaks around the window. Wet in there. Destroyed in there. A little bit there. These old logs are cool. It's a shame it's not all like that, or I'd leave it and just restore it. The lens is all dusted up from this dusty room. But yeah, that's basically like outside. Nice and straight as well. I don't know if you can see. All curls off. Yeah, but sawdust paradise yet again. Uh, I just need to get the bottom of that off and then this horrible curve bit but then that'll be that'll be all the nonsense off and then I can clear up and get the ceiling down which is also full of um, sawdust so that's going to be interesting but hey ho Let's go! Woo! Had a moment of madness and chucked all the paper out the window, so 
You have to go and clear that up. Well, I'd say madness. I knew that I was going to have to go to the library today to edit this video and get enough power to do anything. So I figured I might as well take the paper to the recycling. Yeah. It's great now that the big thing of bags is gone. I can walk in and out and I swept up a bit so I can walk on the floor, but easier another 50 bags yet. All this behind here as well. As soon as I take that off, that's all gonna fall. And then the ceiling as well. Oh wow, I underestimated the amount of sawdust, that's for sure. Out of bags again. Now this time I can't get any more for I don't know two weeks. <sighs> so yet again, another stalemate. I can't do anything with the sawdust. I mean, I could take this the bottom off here. It's going to really like, release all the sawdust. That seems pretty pointless. So I might as well just wait. Right after a bit of planting. Put them out. Mm, put them out in the polytunnel. But I've got some bags. <sighs> Would you believe it? Our bags again. It's not really any different either. We cleared a little space here at the front. <sighs> Shame there's no sun. No solar, no power. These are doing ridiculous. I know I've probably shown them in most of the videos, but that's because all the videos are real time. So you see this maybe two days after I filmed it and edited it. So now when I aft them up, now look, only a few days and boom. Ridiculous. I'm surprised all this salad's not been absolutely butchered. It's just been uncovered and left. And there's a ridiculous amount of insects here, so... But that's... Top quality, that. Pick it and eat it, I reckon. Well, these cheeky mushrooms. Didn't notice these. Big flat tops. Hey, bird. Another one over there. Oh, I think there's going to be a lot of mushrooms around here then. That's a good sign. Forage all them up. Right, I'm going to go to the library. So I can post this super exciting video. So, if nothing happens, I'll take the GoPro anyway and see. Might get some amusing characters. So the library's not open. Only open on Thursdays now apparently like three hours on a Thursday which is useful isn't it? This temporary patch job seems to have actually be working which is surprising because I thought it just you know run down it all and leak out the bottom but for some weird reason it doesn't seem to be doing that I wish it was all that simple but anyway I can't do much more up here until I get more bags which is probably Thursday or Friday and this video has to go out tomorrow and I've not been able to edit it or anything yet because there's been no solar so I'm hoping I get enough solar today probably not uh, on Wednesday I'll probably have to edit it and push the video straight out if possible so it's not been the most exciting video anyway has it so but you get a little update of what's happening 
and then the next video after that will be Sunday. So, you know, I've got small time frames to work in. But that's not bad for a few days, you know. At least, at least we're getting somewhere. Opening it up. So I'll take this disgusting window back in when it was snowing just to... Well, it stopped snowing yet, I mean. But, I don't know if you can see in the video. It's not... I could just pull that out of my hand. What were they thinking, eh? Massive gaps as well. Tut tut. It's barely held in. Yay! Luckily, I do have about 20 windows. And those windows that I got in one of the older videos, if you're a long time viewer, you'll remember those big bad boys. I'm basically just going to have to pull out every window and you know, renovate the windows because they're all knackered. I need some glazes putty and cork and filler and, and sand them all down and whatnot. Get them all sealed because. I really don't want another brutal winter. Seal it all up. Yeah, so sorry, that wasn't the most interesting video ever. Um, and given that there's not going to be any power, it might even be difficult to get this out. Thanks for the comments in the last uh, couple of videos. Um, if you haven't already, like, subscribe. Check out all our other places that we're on. Instagram and Patreon, Facebook. All that malarkey. And I shall see you in the morrow. Oh, so much power, too much power. So I got bored and started smashing out the back of this. There's loads of wasps nesting here, but I really want to get that little tree over there. I wonder what that is. On the, on the beam there. Try and get it. Give it a sec. Hopefully I don't knock the camera in the hole. Yes! <sighs> oh, it's like a mini... skiffle board type thing. Maybe it was like a dollhouse one or... Spooky!